Hey guys, welcome back to SmartHelping.com. So I've got a KPI dashboard here I've built. Um, I've done a lot of variations of this um, or for many different clients. So I've tried to kind of put together what I think is the best thing and the most easiest thing to use. Um, and it's actually going to give you a grade for each KPI on a scale of 1 to 10. And it's going to do automatic color coding based on, um, well, basically red is bad, yellow is average and green is good so it's based on the 12 month period and you're going to show based on the data entered by the company each month it'll give a grade of 1 to 10 per the tables that are input by the company so you can here so i'm going to show you this fully filled out like this and then i'll show you how it actually works so um the simple flow is you start on the KPI detail and every month you're just going to fill in a value whatever that might be for each of the KPIs and what I've done is I've done KPIs for I've tried to make it really broad for you know any business obviously has revenue uh, net income expenses different spends here uh, year over year revenue growth net income growth um, and then I've done some more specific like refunds, uh, churn rate subscriber growth. That's more for a SaaS business, uh, new business activities. That could be a wide range of things. Um, HR is pretty straightforward, hired and fired. And then some other metrics that are more related to software as a service or recurring revenue businesses. But you can add all kinds of things in here, depending on what your business is and build and just input um, the values based on what makes sense for your situation and it will work uh, it's not too hard to customize now if you want if you need help obviously I can go in and this is basically the template and I could change it around to have however many fields you want for each KPI category add new categories add different logic for what's good and bad what the ranges are for each category on a monthly basis and so on so it's it's designed to be high level enough so anybody could come in here and at least use some of it and get some value i've done a lot of things to make it easily um flexible if you don't want to use all of these and it'll be as simple as a flick of a uh, flip of a switch so the key thing is what determines so this is all automated coloring in this area from columns g to r this is all going to automatically turn a red yellow or green based on the value input and it's referencing a lookup uh, value on a table these are all hard coded so obviously some things are good some are bad like if expenses are lower that's good if revenue is lower that's bad so that's what the color coding is here and this is just like you could turn this red just by doing it right here so there's no like advanced coloring on here so it's easy to change if you need to change it um, so that you know this column or this cell is bad and this one's good or what I have you all right so here's where the a little bit of uh, you know logic comes into play so you enter what you what the value is so let's just look at revenue it's the easiest thing to think of so you know what was my revenue for January five thousand eight thousand fifteen thousand 2000 so that's going to be somewhere uh good or bad relatively speaking so how do we determine that well you're probably going to look at your historical sales and you're going to go to this table and right here you can see total revenue and it references that row so if you change anything here it'll change on the table and then the value you put in will affect the values so right here i'm saying anything from zero to eight thousand is red so it's bad. Anything from 8,000 to 15,000 is yellow and over 15 is green. And you can see it's actually to 14,099 is yellow, 8 to 14,99, 0 to 7,999 is red. And then over 15 or more is, is green. So I've also done all the formulas here for the text so that when you're combining, like referencing these values, it's kind of hard to combine them. You got to do some advanced formatting so you'll get all that in the template here um, for dollar values um, including commas for just number values in the percentages um, which definitely there's a bit of time that went into this 
Um, and yeah. So I, I just tried to make it as clean as possible and still look good. All right. So anyway, our revenue, let's say right now, 5,000 is bad. So it's between below eight, but let's say for whatever your business, you change it to zero to 4,000 and the month is good. Well, then now anything from zero to four is red, but if it's over four, I put under 15, it'll be yellow. So now that should turn yellow. And you can see there it is now yellow. And it follows this here. So this is all automatic. Um, this changes to see 4,000 to 14.99 instead of before it was uh, 8,000. So that all is automatic. All you're doing is changing values from G to H here and entering what actually what red yellow and green mean here in the in your tables and there's what there's a table for every single kpi that's listed and it goes in order all the way down to the last one it's conversions so that's the general idea percentages uh or number values work the same exact way you know zero to 7.5 7.5 to 18. Um, now the only thing is if if a lower number is better than you simply switch it so you put green where the lower one is and red on the higher like obviously refunds if you have a low number of refunds that's good so that's green uh so i mean i guess you guys probably get the general flow here the other so let's let's just clear this off because when you uh get this template i'll give it to you fully cleared so it'll come like this and then every month that happens, you're going to put in your data. So let's say January sales were, you know, 6,000. Then February's, you know, 8,500. So this is going to be updated after the month is over. You go in here and just enter all your data. The nice thing about this is you can get a nice weighted picture of like how you're doing. So there's different things in your financial uh, metrics that are good and bad. And this kind of is going to allow you to weigh them all and then figure out, you know, give yourself a grade from one to 10. Same with customer success, uh, business activities, HR, just all different categories. And these could be other things. Um, you can label them differently and just by changing the value here and change the range values on the table tab. But you get a nice average score of kind of how your business is doing as a whole and then this allows you to see like what specific areas you're weak in what um, items and where you're doing well as as well now the dashboard is going to give you an overall picture average of each scenario so it's taking a weighted average of the all the financial categories so all of these are getting a weighted average based on what you're putting the weight in here and if you don't want any of these to show up, you just put zero here. And then anything in gross profit will not be counted. You see that weight? There's no weight for it there. Even if you did, you know, if you did put something in there, the weight is going to show up. Oh, wait a second. I put nine. My bad zero so if, it's, if you put a weight of zero that nullifies the effect of it going forward so zero and you could see on the calculation here this is actually where the calculation is happening um it's doing a weighted average you can see it's two so it's not even counting that three and that's because this pro this formula is doing a weighted average based on referencing the values here in the weight whatever the weight is, and then the actual value. So the three is not getting any weight. Now, if I put that back to one, then this should give me an average of between two and three. So you can see that one. Now their average is 2.5. Now, what if I give the three more weight? Well, that should raise the weighted average from 2.5 up to something higher. Let's give this a weight of 50. And there you go. Now we're at 2.98 is the weighted average. Even though it's 2 and 3, we're giving a 3 more weight. So that has more carry on the final number. And then that's what's actually going to flow through to here and give you your final score of 1 to 10 uh, for February for financials. Now this is going to show you the weighted average for each category. It's going to show you across all categories your average 
Now, this is not a weighted average. This is just based on all of the weighted averages. What's the average of that for each month? So it shows you kind of across all different metrics of your business what the weighted average is. And then you can also see what the total average of all the weighted averages was for the year for each category. And then you can get a final score here, which this is actually going to average up the averages of all the weighted averages per month. So this score in the bottom right corner is actually your basically your overall company score for the year across all key metrics. Uh, so I think that aggregation is something a lot of companies miss and they can't get a high level enough picture to, to make it um, to easily see that. But that's what this template will allow you to do as you fill it out. And these are just, you can hide or unhide these uh, columns here, but those are just references. So you're just entering the monthly data in here on what your KPIs were. You're adjusting what actually the ranges mean for your, based on your actual specific business. And then you're giving a weight to that, that KPI category here. And that's it. And you basically can fill all this out and then if we undo and go back to the full, before I cleared off all the data, now I'll give you a version of this that is already blank from the start, but I'll also give you one that is filled out so you can kind of see what that looks like as well. So that's like a full year's worth of data. And if you haven't clicked or entered anything in yet, it'll just be, you can see it just um, clears out to the color of the data or anything that signals the data entry cell. So that's, um, that's basically it. Now, if you want to buy this template, you can go over to smarthelping.com. It's going to be the link to that, to the page to buy this is going to be in the, in the description box below. Uh, it'll just be a standard one-time fee of $45. Uh, prices could vary in the future, but uh, I've, I've been pretty stuck on that $45 price for all my mid-level models for years. So, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. So. That's what it'll probably be when you go to buy it. And uh, if you need any customized work, like if you want me to build one of these specific for maybe you have some other things you want to track, depending on the type of business, we can build out whatever kind of categories you want and do the same kind of flow and same dashboard um, with the chart. You can change the chart, whatever you want to do. Um, no problem. It's just $120 an hour. That's my rate to do any custom work. Otherwise, you can get this template for 45 bucks and play with it as you wish. You'll get a version that has all of this data in it, and you'll get a version that it has, you know, it cleared out. So you can start from fresh. Now, I would say when you go to start a new year, you would just clear all that out like I did. So you just highlight all the cells and just right click clear contents that won't mess anything up and then you just change your start year from here so it's 2020 let's say the next year comes so i go 2021 and then you just start entering data for each month for that year and you could save these different excel files for each year if you want to compare them uh, some of the metrics will reference the previous year but that's going to be something you do manually off off the sheet so you figure out you know what was your year over year revenue growth um for January, uh, February, March. All right. Let me get the data back on here. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got for you. Hopefully this is going to be something that's super useful and is a new approach to your KPI dashboards, um, giving a weighted average grade to each category and rolling it up into total averages. Um, to actually give you yourself a score on a monthly basis and an annual basis uh, with as much automation as makes sense. Um, so it's, it's really flexible. All right, that's all I got. I'll see you on the next one.